appears that Noble Team's discovery last night was not an anomaly. Large Covenant deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including orbital defenses. As per the Winter Contingency, we are countering on every front. Noble's reconnaissance has also identified sophisticated Covenant army hiding canopies, and has pinpointed what's believed to be a landing zone for additional Covenant forces, the origin of which is yet to be determined. That landing zone has been tagged by UNSC command as the priority one target. Dead charge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Requiring signal lock on the pylon. Detonating in three, two. Could use some help. On my way. Cat, six, what's your status? Hello everyone, I'm Akabane101 and I'm back. This is a remake of the last video I was supposed to be making. Uh, for some reason it was not uploading to YouTube, so I'm going to be remaking the entire video, and it's probably going to be a lot better than it was before, now that I know what happens in the video. Uh, so yeah, now you see the, uh, the grenade launcher, and it fires in two modes. One where you bounce off the ground and it explodes, or the other way where you hold down the trigger, and you uh, do a little EMP blast in the end, and it can actually take down vehicles and turrets, anything, you name it, it can even uh, do some hefty damage on shields. Uh, on Legendary, you will not drain full shield, so uh, definitely be aware of that. Alright, so uh, now we have the DMR in our hands, very useful for, take down, for taking down grunts and uh, any kind of unit that does not have any shields on uh, and its head is exposed. Uh, two, two shots to take down the grunts with little masks on them. Uh, just one on the ones that don't have any masks whatsoever. And as you see now we're getting the, uh, the rocket warthog. Uh, this warthog is very, very powerful and very, very strong because it shoots six rockets at once and uh, really you have a really fun time. Uh, either being the gunner or uh, driving it because the guy in the back is actually pretty good he's not too bad at dr uh, shooting um, but when you're playing on single player especially when you're on the harder difficulties you probably want to be in control of the vehicle because if you're not in control of the vehicle and uh, an NPC is controlling the vehicle you'll probably be moving at like five kilometers an hour because the AI is just really really stupid when you're trying to do what you you got to do uh, okay, now as you see here, we're supposed to be going into this turret up here. You go into the bottom, and then you uh, you break one of the cores, and then you toss a grenade in, or just do hefty, hefty damage on that, and it will explode in the end. And looks like we get another assassination there. Very, very fun to do that, because uh, elites are probably the most uh, challenging to get it sometimes. Because, uh, you know, assassinations are easy to do on grunts, but on elites, it's pretty cool. And as you see, I chuck a grenade in there, blows the crap out of that. Now i got to get out of here because the explosion from that can kill you, which is very, very dangerous. Alright, so now I get out. Cat is still around there, but she won't die. No worries whatsoever. And look at that glory. Glorious shot, thanks to the theater mode. Thank you, Bungie, for allowing us to do theater mode and watch everything that we've done before and more in a very nice definition. Well, in this case, you guys are watching it in standard definition, but uh, I know you guys can still see what's going on. And as you can see, there's a frigate in the, in the air there, which is very, very nice shot. The sun is just very nice looking when it comes down on, this, on the ground. The lighting effects are very, very nice. And looks like that guy with the rockets definitely trying to take out that, that little uh, the ghosty ghost over there. And uh, what you're going to see here is that I get completely lost. Um, what I'm supposed to do is go straight down here and there's a bridge to the right. And I did not do that. So what I did was I just fast forwarded because I messed up completely. You know, completely fell over. 
and messed everything up. So I'm going to be uh, completely fast forwarding through this segment. There's nothing you guys are going to miss. No talking, no uh, anything whatsoever. It's just one big mistake that I made when I was playing the game. So uh, it's a good hint to know. Go th for the bridge if uh, you go play Halo Reach because I think this is probably the only mission I really had problems with trying to get to the uh, the next position just because I wasn't thinking at the time oh and I fell off the side wow I I can't believe how long it takes me just to get to the bridge I think um, I just wasn't really paying attention to anything that was going on in the game but that's okay it looks like we're gonna be going through the bridge very shortly the rocket guy is pretty much squatting like crazy trying to take down that phantom overhead and oh my god wow I'm gonna flip over like a million times how many times have I flipped over like four times now oh well oh and the controls for the warthog work exactly the same as it worked in Halo 1, 2, and 3 if you let go of the gas while it's in midair it won't tilt forward or backward and oh my god I flipped the warthog once again but that's okay viewers because flipping the warthog is always fun to do and then you get to honk the horn like crazy, trying to get them back into the car. You conk the horn by pressing the right trigger. Always fun to make some music with the horn. Why not? And I let go of the gas. And as you can see, very comfortable landing as opposed to going front first into the ground and totally annihilating your chance of having good mobile mobility, which doesn't really matter because I did have to park there. There's a lot of roadblocks up here. Don't really want to risk running over Marines and having them shoot back at me while I'm trying to kill the grunts. Which is probably uh, fun to do when you uh, when you're really evil, but that's okay. And it looks like these grunts are gonna go down very easily with the DMR. Friendly forces near the Covenant outpost have sighted a high-value target, an elite zealot, in fact. A zealot? We're onto something big, Commander. Eyes on the prize, Noble. Take out that zealot if you get the chance, but keep moving toward the spires. Alright, so what a Zealot is, is what we met in uh, Winter Contingency, which was the first uh, game that uh, you guys saw me play. It was the very first mission, and uh, the Zealot did get away. So this potentially could be the exact same Zealot Elite that you met in Winter Contingency, you never know. But you did meet multiple Zealot class Elites, so that doesn't really matter anyway. But Zealots are very powerful, they have extremely strong shields. It does take a headshot to kill them though, once their shields are down. So very important to note that. Um, ooh, that was pretty cool. And uh, so Zealots, they, they're very tough to beat on uh, hard difficulties, say Heroic or uh, Legendary. It did take me quite a long time to kill some Zealots uh, later on in the game, but I'm not going to spoil when we see the Zealots. It's just saying that you got to be ready to take down these Zealots that have tons of health and do tons of damage to you and later. And as you can see, there was an arrow over his head, and he's a red Zealot with a very cool looking helmet, so he does distinctly look different from other uh, other Elites. And uh, on easy, you know what? Just a few punches to the face, and he's down. He has no chance whatsoever. So now we're taking down these Grunts. These Grunts are trying to defend him, and I ran right past him. If you're trying to get to the are you trying if you're trying to get to the achievement um, the zealot basically all you have to do is just bypass every single grunt and kill the zealot because that zealot can get away and it will forfeit your chance of getting 25 points uh, of achievement points and I think it's either easy or normal um, I would recommend you do it on normal if you don't want to like try it twice to get the achievement but if you're playing on easy try it out see if it works if it doesn't go on normal because I'm pretty sure you guys if you guys can do it pretty handedly on easy I'm pretty sure you guys will have almost no problem on normal because uh, easy is pretty much normal uh, except for normally just take a little bit more damage and the uh, enemies act quite the same which is you know quite normal and looks like I'm in a ghost uh, if you saw me I was using the plasma cannon and I shot one shot at the grunts which is very uh, very handy instead of firing four shots at once and looks like the video is going to be ending so I will see you guys next time and hopefully this one finally uploads so I'm Akabane11 totally subscribe to my account and I will see you guys next time